I think one of the real benefits of this eating plan for someone who's had cancer might be to reduce the risk of recurrence. And ideally what you'd like, I, I actually think this, this eating protocol, the style of eating, um, can turn cancer into a chronic disease. In other words, there may always be some cancer cells. We know this with glioblastoma patients, brain cancer patients, that it never goes away. And the, you know, Tom Zeefried's done a lot of this work. And when people kind of go off the diet a little bit, the tumor actually grows again. And then when they get back on it, it reduces. So I think the diet can actually be used much like we treat type two diabetes or other chronic diseases, prevent it from growing and metastasizing, which is really what we want. Psychology and behavioral strategies don't help much with the traditional uh, calorie deficit, you know, energy in, energy out, because you're asking people to do two unnatural things. You're asking them to be hungry, and at the same time, you're asking them to expend more energy. So that can, that can, no matter how much willpower you have, that cannot really sustain itself. So one of the, and I think my profession has done a disservice to obese people um, by, by thinking it's a willpower issue and it's a strategy issue. I don't think obese people are obese because they overeat. I think they overeat because they're obese because they have all this stored energy that they can't get access to because of the diet composition that they're, they're consuming. So they are genuinely hungry. So that's why I am so intrigued by the ketogenic and the carnivore because you are um, allowing the participant, the patient to get access to their fat stores because you're keeping insulin low, which releases the fat, the stored fat and reduces inflammation. I actually think people can get 70 to 80% of the way there by just cutting out processed food, highly processed food, but it's really difficult to do because it has this addictiveness to it. The, the ketogenic women uh, ate about 62% fat, about 30% protein and 9% carbs. And the, uh, the control women that were on the Cancer Society diet, 35% fat, 19% protein, 43% carbs. So actually that's, even that 43% is probably a little lower than what the government recommends at the moment. Annotated and summarized, easy to share with loved ones. The description below the title for this video has these summary points.